Earlier this month, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation closed shellfish beds across multiple locations within Suffolk County due to the presence of paralytic shellfish poisoning. Paralytic shellfish poisoning is caused by red tides, which are made up of thousands of microalgae known as alexandrium that synthesize the toxin saxitoxin that is harmful to humans as it can make them sick, weak, or even be lethal at high doses. Humans are most commonly exposed to paralytic shellfish poisoning via the consumption of shellfish, such as oysters, clams, or mussels, which can filter individually 50 liters per day, concentrating both the organism and its toxin. A recent study in an international peer-reviewed journal examined the causes of these PSP events on Long Island and concluded that wastewater-derived nitrogen promotes the intensity and the toxicity of these alexandrian blooms. Where does wastewater come from in Suffolk County? 70% of the homes in Suffolk County have septic tanks or cesspools to receive their household waste. These systems are designed to leach their contents out into the groundwater, which then slowly makes its way into our coastal waters and bays, affecting the marine life in these systems. A recent study by Suffolk County examined the levels of nitrogen in groundwater across the county and found that between the period of 1987 and 2005, the levels of nitrogen in that groundwater increased substantially. At the same time, the acreage of shellfish beds closed due to PSP has also been increasing. Prior to 2005, there had never been a PSP event in New York State. Since that time, the acreage of shellfish beds closed due to PSP has been increasing to a maximum of more than 13,000 acres closed in 2012. The organism responsible for these PSP events is widespread across Long Island coastal waters, suggesting that as wastewater-derived nitrogen continues to increase in our groundwater, these PSP events may continue to expand across Long Island's coastal waters. This message has been brought to you by the Stony Brook Southampton Coastal and Estuarine Research Program.